नमस्कार आचार्य जी वे सिटिंग इन अ लॉन एंड वी आर सराउंडेड बाय रैबिट्स ऑल अराउंड मैन हैज मेड अटैम्प्ट थ्रू आउट हिस्ट्री टू ट्रांसेंड इट्स एनिमल नेचर एंड वन ऑफ द थिंग्स हैज बीन इट ट्राइंग टू बी स्टेबल इन इट्स सेक्शुअल रिलेशनशिप्स सच अ थिंग इज नॉट फाउंड इन एनिमल्स वे डू नॉट हैव एनी कंपल्शन और प्रेशर टू be loyal not be infidel what is your take in the concept of having multiple partners or not having any moral or cultural pressure to engage sexually or romantically with any one person throughout the life multiple partners is too much let's begin with one partner hmm Why do you need a partner at all? <laughs> no, I'm not taking a position. I'm asking a question. Why do you need a partner in the first place? You need a partner because you feel a certain vacancy, right? You feel a certain urge. A feeling of incompleteness. you're looking for something and you feel that that which you are looking for will be provided by the person you are relating to the one you are partnering now do you succeed if you succeed then why do you need another partner and if you don't succeed why do you need another partner the whole thing does not have so much of a moral angle to it go ahead and have 40000 partners be related to 10 20 30 people in whichever way you want to have a platonic relationship have an actively sexual relationship go ahead and try all of that if any of that gives you contentment does it if it gives you contentment go ahead here is an early warning it won't you would be wasting your time forget about multiple partners even those who with all loyalty stick to just one partner find that they are not getting what they wanted out of that one partner so the question is not one partner versus multiple partners the question is whether any of these partnerships are any good are these any good and if they really are good who can stop you from partnering the dt of your choice if one person or a group of persons is really able to give you that which would fulfill your life then you just cannot be stopped you'd say i'm prepared to lay down my life but you cannot stop me from being with that person mostly these flings are blind attempts at getting from people what people cannot give and using ways to reach destinations that those ways cannot reach hmm when you say one has multiple partners there is an obvious sexual connotation to it right one is relating sexually to many people relate sexually to one person relate sexually to many person will sex give you what you want have sex with 10 persons 
or have sex with one person ten times? Did you get what you really set out to get? So the ones who are in all fidelity sticking to one partner need not feel any kind of moral superiority over the ones who are engaged in the internet of relationships, you know, the whole mishmash. This connected to that, that connected to that, and this connected to that, that whole network. Both are failing in their attempt. Both want something that is very, very deep. But both are trying to get that deep something using very shallow means. Very shallow means. The body is a very shallow way to get that which your consciousness desperately craves for. And remember, all your relationships are deeply your attempts to fill an inner void. Your consciousness is trembling. It is wounded. It is incomplete. It lacks a huge part of itself. Rather, it lacks its own center. And therefore, it stumbles from place to place, knocks from door to door, hoping to get some kind of relief from somewhere. Multiple partners are these feeble and fruitless knocks on several multiple doors. That does not mean that knocking on just one door is better than knocking on several doors. It merely means that whether you knock on one door or on several doors, you will return disappointed. You will not get what you want through the physical or sexual route. It is not possible. So if you are someone who is a serial relator, one relationship after the other or several relationships at a time, whatever. It's one and the same thing really. You must tell yourself that you really have not a physical but a spiritual urge. And therefore you should stop your mad nonsensical method of looking for the ultimate in some man or woman. You will not get it there. You will have to find it using other means. You will have to find it in wisdom literature. You will have to find it in a deep understanding of life. You will find it in a love that is far more inclusive a love that is more pervasive. You talked of the rabbits. Was it in this discussion itself? Hmm? Somebody said, it was such a beautiful quote, that a part of your consciousness remains unawakened until you fall in love with an animal. And all that you are looking for is some sexy woman. Chances are very feeble that you will get it there. Were it possible to get it there, millions and billions would have obtained it. Hmm? So sit down with yourself and honestly question yourself, what is it that I really want? Another man, another woman, is that what I want? Or is it something deeper? And once you receive the answer, don't unhear it, don't unsee it, 
don't avoid or ignore it the answer is there writ large on the wall the inner wall now act as per your understanding hmm if indeed acharya ji painted a hopeless picture that one is not going to get it in women in partnerships and i've tried to say that uh, it has to be sought in wisdom literature in relations that are inclusive why is it that it is received through certain things and it is not received no you see when i say it has to be an inclusive way of relating to the universe obviously that does not include that does not exclude men or women when i say that your love has to include even animals and plants and ecologies then do i mean that your love would exclude women or that a woman's love would exclude men obviously not but then this is pathological sticking to a woman or sticking to a man inwardly aiming for his or her genitals this is sick it stinks hmm? and when you are fed up with one set of genitals then you hunt for another set makes no sense bears no fruit there are beautiful ways of relating to men relating to women relate them in higher ways relate to them in higher ways hmm? i'm not a body hater i'm just clear on what the body can and what it cannot give there are certain things for which the body is indeed useful and there are certain things which cannot come via the body once we are done with this you know i would be rushing out to the tennis court that's something my body can give me hmm it can win me a great point it cannot win me realization <laughs> i need a healthy and good body to serve an ace but my body will not render me salvation on the tennis court love all is just a score at best hmm that's the utmost the body can give me love all and that love all is so very transitory and ephemeral serious very soon it changes to 15 love <laughs> that's your multiple <laughs> partner thing hmm <laughs> love all is gone now it's 15 love if physical nearness happens smoothly incidentally as a result of spiritual nearness then it is unavoidable but only then must it be unavoidable physical nearness has to be the tail of the elephant are you getting it once the entire elephant has passed through only then you must see the little tail only that much importance it must have instead of that the sexual aspect becomes the elephant as far as the real truthful spiritual aspect is concerned you keep waiting for the tail to come and 
when you come to the rear of the animal, you realize it is tailless. Because a spiritual aspect cannot follow physicality. But physicality, sometimes it can follow the spiritual part. Not always, sometimes. Mm -hmm.